gender and sex are hot topics at the moment. Um, there's a lot of dis and misinformation out there. The issue is really complicated, and so this will be sort of a short web mini series just getting into what is the state of the art and science of sex and gender in 2022. The first thing to understand is that it's complicated. And as I repeatedly tell you on this channel, if anyone's claiming things are simple, it's just that simple. Ah, uh, they're probably a fascist. Uh, they're selling something, they're selling something political or otherwise ideological. Uh, it's complicated. Most stuff about people is and sexuality, sex and sexuality, and gender especially are. So the next thing you need to understand is that sex and gender are not the same thing. Uh, this is a toughie. Even 10 years ago, even prominent scientists were using sex and gender interchangeably as though they meant the same thing. Um, and just as our understanding of sex and gender advances, we understand that they're not the same thing. So sex, loosely speaking, is biology, right? So someone talking about biological sex, that is redundant. Biology and sex are, are ultimately redundant. Um, it's not just that simple. It is a little bit more complicated than that. Uh, not very much more complicated. And the instances in which, uh, in which sex is not strictly biological, they're vanishingly small, but yeah, we can have, we later will, we'll have a discussion about sex being a social construct. How can a physical thing be a social construct? Well, hang out, we'll talk about it. Um, so sex is, loosely speaking, biology. It's chromosomes, it's genitalia, sometimes it's secondary sex characteristics. Gender is not. Gender is an abstraction. Gender means all of the expectations that we put on a person based on a cursory examination of their genitalia by a doctor at the time that they're born. So you finally come out of the womb and the doctor holds you upside down by your feet and smacks your bottom until you cry, looks between your legs and writes male or female on the birth certificate. And at that time, if not before, we have ultrasounds. At that time, when that word is written on your birth certificate, all of these expectations start to pile up on you for how you'll act, look, dress, talk, relate to other people, love. And those are merely expectations. They could be whatever we want them to be. All I want to get out in this video is the idea of reification. And reification is when we treat abstractions or constructs as real things in the universe with definite properties. To make ideas into things. Gender is an idea. And when you hear people going on Bill Maher or uh, probably Joe Rogan or whatever, and they're saying, no, there are only two genders. Obviously, there are only two sexes, and so there are only two genders. Well, that's reification. Gender is not a thing in the universe. There aren't two of them, because ultimately there are none of them that exist as things in the world. These are expectations that we live up to or down to or decline to try to live into the world. Um, not things that can be so easily isolated based on simple biological criteria. There's no biological criteria for an idea. All right, so hang out, and there'll be a couple, three more videos on this topic. We're going to break down sex. Yeah, I mean, literally, literally break it down. Um, not the act of sex, we're not going to get into that, but the this sort of a brief overview of the biology of sex. It's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good system for categorizing humans based on certain needs, procreation. 
but it's not perfect. And we'll get into gender and we'll get into sexuality as in, uh, orientations and, uh, maybe a separate video will be the, 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 the trans. Okay. Over and out.